Hey everyone, welcome to another helmet ballistic test. I'm Mike B out here with my sexy little Canadian assistant. Devin Kay. And we're gonna do some camera work and take a turn shooting this Italian M33 steel helmet. Yes, it's finally here. This is one that I've really been waiting for for a long time. Super excited to do this. Uh, this one in particular, the reason we're shooting this, I've never seen a liner that was installed that absolutely ridiculously. That janky, the liner yeah. screwed. Um, and as far as the historical value, you're destroying a piece of history. The educational value that you're going to get out of this video of doing the ballistic test far outweighs this particular piece in its historical significance and whatever. Um, so that's the cost benefit analysis is has been done. That's why we're doing this. It's not because we hate history and we're just out to destroy pieces of history and whatever. It's actually to learn more about it. So, and also that being said, both Devin K and I and pretty much everybody with a brain understands that these were not designed to stop direct hits. I get that. You don't have to say it a million times in the comments. It's made to stop fragmentation from far away, uh, dirt and debris that's flying, and just to protect your head against things that you bump into out in the field. So I get that, I, no, need to, no need to talk, you know, tell me that, I understand that, it's definitely common knowledge. The reason we're doing these tests is because we're both helmet nerds, and have been for a long time, and we're always curious about, well, what can it stop with a direct hit, you know? So we're gonna be testing out 32 ACP through 357, and without further ado, we'll get going. Alright, so up first we have the 32 ACP or the 7.65 by 17 millimeter for all you Europeans out of the CZ50 pistol. Nice. So it performed as expected, as it should have. Glanced it, barely dented the steel. Good stuff. I just want to get the angle. Yeah, that's about the angle somebody would be wearing it at. Now we're going to be doing the 9x18 Makarov out of the CZ82. I think it's an 85 grain full metal jacket. Heard the bounce on that one. Landed over on the trailer. I think that was the uh, cartridge. This thing spits them out because it went that way. So that was, uh, I, that was a glancing shot. I'm going to retake that shot. All right. Because, yeah, that, that wasn't really fair. There you go. I'm, I'm so flinchy from yeah from the last time. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that was a direct hit, um, and it just yeah it barely dented it again. Off to a good start. All right. So it passed the nine by eighteen Makarov. So now we're going to shoot the nine by nineteen Luger out of a Luger at it. <laughs> Sorry about the wind too, guys. It's pretty windy out here today. Okay. That was about as direct as you can get. And it just did a nice dent. It glanced up. Still performing well. Yep, not bad. All right, we'll uh, try not to hit the rivet because that's a pretty weak area. But come on, baby, set her down and those screwed. Get her done. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the 45 ACP 230 grain full metal jacket out of the Colt Model 1917. Now they're single action. dented it less than the nine millimeter that's really weird that is kind of weird i mean it's not bad because that yeah. did what it's supposed to do but that steel that kind of tells us what the quality of steel was is yeah. and also how 45 is not as powerful as everyone thinks it's a man stopper two world wars <laughs> yeah well you were shooting at these helmets in the second one and obviously they wouldn't have stopped it so maybe out of a submachine gun yeah all right now we'll uh we'll ramp things up just a little bit Alrighty, so it stopped uh, 9 by uh, 19 and 45 ACP, so now this is the round that kind of separates the men from the boys. This is the 762 Tokarev, which basically until recently was one of the few pistol cartridges that body armor was built to. And uh, so we'll, we'll give it a go here. Yep. That's pretty typical. Not a big deal. So, like he said, it's this is a hot little round, and because it failed on this round, does not a bad helmet make this? So, m very few steel helmets have actually deflected a 7.62 by 25 millimeter. I think, what was it, the East, East German M56, the second one we did, and then the Bulgarian M71. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've, ne I've not seen one. Even some Kevlar helmets have problems with, uh, with the 7.62 Telkarev. But, for the sake of the test, it must go on. 
All right, now for the big boy. This is gonna be the 357 Magnum out of the Ruger GP100 using 142 grain full metal jacket. Ooh. Oh, did it, it bounced, it looks like. It, it bounced, but it cracked. Huh. How's the liner look? Did fragments make it through the tongues and stuff? Oh uh, yeah, fragment, he's probably dead. Cause you can see right where the split is right there. Yeah. He's probably dead. So yeah, we'll say it def um, the round defeated the helmet. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's wrap this up. So overall, not a bad performance. This is about what you'd expect from most. Woo! Definitely pick it up. Again, sorry for the wind. Uh, it's pretty much the standard where it, it defeats all the rounds up until a 7.62 by 25 tilt rev, which this it doesn't reflect poorly on the helmet's design or the integrity of it. That's a hot little round. Even some Kevlar helmets have a hard time defeating that. So not too bad. But yeah, I performed compared to other helmets in the same era and everything and kind of relatively the same design. Satisfactorily, it's pretty average. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just there, which is kind of what you'd expect from a steel helmet. So, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. And if you want to support this channel financially, you can do so through Patreon. Link to that is in the description. It's a dollar a month, five bucks a month to mortgage into the Discord server. Pretty fun time in there. Also, go over and check out Devin K's channel. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. If not, it's youtube.com slash Devin K. And uh, he's got a bunch of videos and does material that I don't know about and that, that you can learn a lot from that you're not going to see on my channel so it's worth it's worth the watch he's also got a patreon too uh the, the support really does help us it made this trip possible this collaboration day because he was able to come down here we got gas money we got helmets to shoot we've got ammo we've got guns of different calibers so we can we can um self-fund these channels like we have been to a certain point but it limits what, what we can do as far as uh creative videos and stuff like that and content but this is the kind of stuff that patreon really helps for so thank you so much to my past and present patrons and all that stuff if you can't support the channel financially that's totally fine i totally understand that so does devin um but your viewership and your interaction with the videos like hitting the like button and all that stuff really does help so yeah i appreciate you watching hopefully you learned something hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next episode of helmet ballistic tests